Hey guys, uh, this is uh, Josh. I wanted to um, touch base with you all and just uh, share some information that I have recently learned. Um, this is going to be uh, part one in a series uh, discussing a few things that I've noticed through my experimentation with my wind turbine. And um, you know, this first uh, this first portion is going to deal with power output from the wind turbine uh, versus the uh, shaft RPM of the permanent magnet alternator. Um, I noticed that uh, my particular setup is a 48 volt PMA and it is inputting its electrical energy directly into a 24 volt battery bank. So my wind turbine RPM um, when I load it down with the battery bank uh, seems to be fairly low. Um, for instance if I remove the electrical load from the wind turbine, the turbine blades are allowed to spin very freely and fast. And as soon as I hook it up to my load, the battery bank, I can notice visibly that the RPM uh, drops drastically from the wind turbine. And I went ahead and did some, uh, did some power measurements, um, made some observations of the shaft RPM versus the power actually produced from the wind turbine and I found that the curve is not linear. Now, uh, you know, that was exactly what I expected and that is shown here in the green. Uh, on this axis we have RPM, on this axis we have the power produced. You can see that as the RPM increases, the power produced gets to a maximum at some certain point. Uh, so, for instance, if you have too much of a load on a wind turbine, by looking at the graph, if your RPM is low, your total power produced is going to be low. Now, as your RPM increases, your power produced increases. Now, the red line shows a linear, a linear graph, and the power production from a wind turbine um, with its blades and uh, their um, their functions and, and uh, different um, aerodynamic losses associated with them creates a graph of the power production that is not linear. So the point is there is a certain speed, a certain RPM uh, for a person's setup um, that will give them the maximum power. And uh, so if a guy had a way to allow the RPM of the uh, wind turbine to increase to a maximum power point, he will be able to extract the maximum amount of energy from that particular wind turbine. And I believe that's exactly what we're all uh, what we're all doing this uh, research and experimentation and investigating to uh, uh, to achieve that result. Um, I don't want to waste any energy if if I can help it. And uh, most guys will set up a system uh, that seems to perform. Um, you know, uh, moderate at most wind um, wind conditions, and here in Florida we have very low wind conditions, and so anything I can do to optimize the system to be able to extrapolate the maximum amount of power from the wind, uh, the better. So in part two of this video, we'll go ahead and go and uh, discuss a few methods to allow the shaft RPM of a wind turbine to increase um, higher than it would if you uh, did not make the modifications that I will um, that I will show you. So we'll go ahead and look at that here on uh, part two. So tune in, and I'll uh, catch up with you guys at that time. Thanks for watching. Bye.